Hi you guys. Hello and welcome to our special October 2017 edition of the Good News Sunday Show. For the month of October, we are paying special close attention to the Book of Romans. And what we are doing for the month of October is we are reading through the Book of Romans. And the reason why we're doing this is because I believe in the power of God's Word. And I believe in the power of God's Word to go forth and change things. Now, the Book of Romans, as I learned in our Bible Study Fellowship International, the, the Book of Romans changed Augustine and Martin Luther. Now, if it could change them, it could change others. And I believe, I believe that's the hope that we have. And I also believe that his word has the power that my words don't. My words are powerless without him. So, since his word has the power, then I am going to rely on his word written word in the text. And we are reading the King James Version of the Book of Romans. And yesterday, we read the very first 17 verses in the first chapter of the Book of Romans. And today, we are going to finish chapter 1 of the Book of Romans. So, without further delay, I will read to the best of my ability the second part of the book of Romans verses 18 through verses 32 for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness because that which may be known of God is manifest in them for God hath shewed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power in Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Because that, when they knew God, they glorified him not. as God. Neither were they thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man, and to birds and four-footed beasts, and to creeping things. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanliness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and served the, cre the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause, God gave them up into vile affections for even their women did change the na natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burn in their lusts one toward another. Men with men, working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meat. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, Whispers, backbiters, haters of God, 
despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. That is the final verses of chapter 1, Book of Romans, which is Paul's letter to people he had never met. And it's hard stuff, y'all. This is hard stuff in God's Word. And it's hard. It's hard to read. It's hard to meditate on. And it's hard to look in the mirror at ourselves with these words in our hearts. We studied in Bible Study Fellowship last week. We studied chapter 1. And I thought that was hard. But this week, we studied chapter 2. And man, y'all, it's even harder than chapter 1. So, it's about our hearts. It's all about our hearts and God's heart. And the good news is, the good news is that we still have time. We still have time to dig into his word and glean something, anything for our own personal lives to line our lives up with this word right here. Not the word of other people. Um, and I'm a writer, so that's hard to say too. But with this word right here. This is his complete love letter to us. And he longs for us to be obedient. And, you know, we may miss the mark, but the heart that misses the mark is the heart that is set on his heart. This is Sonia signing out for the Good News Sunday Show. Have a great day, and thank you. Bye-bye.